will Hawaii remain Hawaii without the knowledge of Hawaiian culture? Without it, what will make Hawaii distinctive? If we make no effort to preserve all we can, what then? Kavana Pukui is without a doubt the most important Kanaka scholar of the 20th century. She herself was born into a family that was so rich with Ike Kupuna. She was raised by her grandmother, Nali'ipua and Moku, and they were inseparable. The summers they used to go down to, even as a little girl, she used to ride their mule and go down to Waikupuna, and they'd uh, grow uh, sweet potatoes up on uh, uh, Mauka and take them down and distribute them to the family down by the shore. And my grandmother said that, you know, those days were fading at that time. So she watched that community of people who could speak and read Hawaiian just shrink over time. She wrote on notes on things like this, bits of paper. Now, this is a, an envelope, and I can't throw it away because she's got notes there. She started when she was 15 years old, and she really never stopped. Everything from, you know, looking at manuscripts and newspapers and pulling out the words and pulling out the olelo no eau and pulling out the stories. Without her work, our knowledge of Hawaiian culture, Hawaiian language would be so sparse. Uh. Her work is the foundation of the knowledge we have now. She was aware that the generations after her and after us the generations in the future were going to really need this, this knowledge. And she said, I'm doing this for my mo'opuna, and someday yours will benefit too. Knowledge, to me, is life. Uemau, teo, oka'aina, ikapuna.